who brought insecurity into Nigeria. Bandits killed 91 people by bandits. I mean, these are Fulani people. Fulani killed, Fulani terrorists killed 91 people in a place called Danko Wasagu, local government area of Kibi State. And I want Twitter to listen very carefully to what I have to say. I want all the people listening all over the world to pay attention to what I have to say. The same people threatening to go and unleash genocide and mayhem in the East, in their own backyard, their own people, those referred to as legitimate stakeholders in the government, or should I say the governance of Nigeria, Niyeti Yala, we are busy slaughtering 91 people in Kebi State. Now it doesn't stop there. Who are those they are killing, you may ask? Is it not the North? Kebi State is mainly populated by Hausa people. The Fulani people are killing Hausa people in Kebi State. They are killing the Lerna people. They are killing the Busawa people. They are killing the Dukawa people. They are killing the Dakakari people. They are killing the Kambari people. They are killing the Gungawa people. They are killing the Kamuku ethnic nationality in Kebi. Are you listening to me? Later on, I will tell you why they are obsessed with dividing us. South East, South, South, Niger, Delta, Igbo, and other rubbish. Because in the North, I'm telling you the truth, they are not one. Forget all the rubbish, because what the Fulanese did very cleverly was to emasculate the political, economic, and social space within Nigeria. All the, should I say, media outlets in the North only have one agenda to throw out the full narrative on a daily basis. Daily Trust, Premium Times, NTA, Channels Television, to an extent AIT, they are using Punch newspaper. Intermittently, they will use Vanguard, they will use Nation newspaper as they will. Now and again, in KB State, as they are busy telling you about Southeast and uh, South South, uh, Niger Delta and Igbo, Delta is not even all that rubbish. I want to tell you that in one single state in the north, the Fulani is a minority. And in that place that the Fulani people are a minority, they have gone on and killed 91 Hausa people. Are you following what I'm telling you? They have killed 91 Hausa people. You will not hear anybody ever. If it is anywhere else, they'll say, oh, they're killing uh, Fulani. What is happening to Fulani? But Fulani went into Kebi State, which doesn't belong to them, and killed 91 Hausa people. This happened two days ago. You know, in fact, basically, on Saturday, very early morning on Saturday, it happened, happened yesterday, to be honest, the 5th of June. The police command in Kebi State on Saturday confirmed that bandits, they don't want them to be called terrorists. Because once they're called terrorists, you, you know, Boko Haram, ISIS in West Africa, Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb comes to mind, and Saru and um, Yeti Allah will come to mind. So you know what the government of Nigeria did through Lai Mohammed, their Minister of Information? They said to media houses, do not call them Fulani terrorists anymore, just call them bandits. So that way the eyes of the people and the attention of the world will be deviated or deflected away from the real identity of these murderers and killers. It's a very simple strategy. Maybe it was Britain that advised them to do that. Maybe it's Catherine Alain that advised them to do that. I am telling the whole world only yesterday, as they were shouting about Southeast insecurity, we are going to kill, we'll bring in the army, we'll, we'll land aeroplane, we'll bomb everybody. In their own backyard, this same um, government is aiding and abating the full and slaughter of Hausa people. Is here now, it's not very clear. Bandits kill 91 people in Danko, 
Wasagulo, confirmed by the police. And who confirmed it? The public relations officer, the PRO, his name is DSP Nafiu Abubakar. He confirmed the figures and said all the victims were killed in eight different communities in the local government area. Eight, he said eight different communities. These are Fulani people killing Hausa people. Telling you the house are full of me. That is why I keep wondering, I keep asking Nigerians all the time, what is in your brain? What sort of substance is in your brain? Is it the white matter that God created? Is it something else that is there? As they have now corralled all the media houses in the zoo to focus on the East. Fulani are busy killing Hausa people. They will come out and they will say, oh, we are Hausa Fulani, but behind closed doors, they are slaughtering Hausa people. It is here now. Go and ask the DSP Nafiu Abubakar of Kebi State. He is the public relations officer of the police in Kebi State. He confirmed it. According to him, the command has so far recovered 88 bodies and dispatched a detachment of operatives to maintain law and order in the affected communities. There is no bombardment. Like all, no, 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 not at all. Because they are all oh, the Fulani, they know what they're doing. There is no bombardment. There is no shoot at sight order. There is no abduction of young men with tattoos on their body. No rape of women. No, no, not at all. This is in a state where 88 Hausa people we are slaughtered by full and terrorists. Now tell me why any decent person would want to belong to such a country. I'm asking a very simple question. When Lai Mohammed complains about, about IPOB, Namde Khan, all this Biafra agitation, tell me why any sensible person would not agitate to be free in a country where 91 people were slaughtered and there was no mention of it by the government. What is of concern to them is a, is a INEC building. That is what is of concern to them. Are you following me? Are you following what I'm saying? I hope people are following what I'm saying sequentially. A country where 91 people were slaughtered only yesterday, their concern is the East. Do you see how they roll? Because Fulani has an agenda. The agenda is to conquer all of you. But some of us are so foolish and so idiotic, we don't understand what their game plan is. If they do not have it in mind to conquer all of you, how come something as, as massive as the slaughter of 91 people did not elicit any comment from the so-called presidency. Tell me in which country anywhere in the world that such idiocy obtains. Only in Nigeria, when I say it, they say, he is a, he's a, he's a, he's insightful tweet. He's inciting violence. And you are the ones committing violence. Fulani, you are the ones that killed 91 Hausa people in Kebbi State. You got the massaging them, say, oh, we are Hausa Fulani, but you are killing them. 88 bodies were recovered. Now, let me tell you that all the people that I mentioned earlier were being killed. The killings took place in Koro, Kimpi, Gaya, Dimi, Zetu, Rafingora, Igwenge villages, and in all Danko Wasagu local area of Kebbi State. Are you following me? Now, the question that Twitter, I'm sure you people are listening to me this evening. The question you need to ask Lai Muhammad is this. Who kills those people in Kebbi State? What is their identity? Because any time anything happens in the East, it's ESN, ESN, IPOP, ESN. You even find the Yoruba newspapers. Hi, clicking up on your poor. Without an investigation, they will say it's IPOB, ESN, IPOB, ESN. I want to ask Yoruba media, Yoruba journalists, you evil people, have you ever wondered or asked yourselves 
the people behind the slaughter of the innocent in Kebbi State. Why couldn't you say it's me, Tiala? The way you quickly say it's, it's, it's IPOB, it's ESN. It is that hatred. It is in your bone marrow, you cannot get rid of it. I am not talking about the freedom fighters we have in Yoruba land. I am talking about their journalists. Journalism from Yoruba land is pure venom designed to paralyze your thinking faculties and to render you useless. By the time they are done with you, Fulani will just walk you over. I want to ask Yoruba newspapers, how come you are saying it is bandits that kill people in Kebbi State? You are asking anything happens in the East is ESN, ESN, IPOB. Why? Do you see why I hate Nigeria? Do you see why I agitate for Biafra? Because you hate me for no reason, for speaking the truth. That is the only, you hate me for no reason. Then why should I not seek a country of my own? Given the level of hatred you have towards us. Daily trust newspaper will be somewhere in Kaduna. Something will happen maybe in Okigwe. And he will write this IPOB ESN. He has never been to Okigwe before. I want the world to listen to what I'm saying. To understand the level of hatred directed towards Igbo Biafrans especially. To all Biafrans anyway. The other ones, they are treating them as if they are normal, but of course they are not. Fulani killed Hausa people. The same is writing Hausa Fulani. Hausa Fulani. I want to ask the whole world tonight. Who are the people responsible for the killing of 91 Hausa people in Kebbi State? The answer is Fulani. And they know that they are terrified to write the truth. They are terrified to speak the truth. That is why I cannot be in the same country with you people. You people are evil. You are evil. You see evil and you support it. You keep your mouth shut. You want Tinubu to be president. And you are paying dearly for these mistakes you're making. As we proceed, I am going to bring to the attention of the world the damage that Yoruba journalism has done to Yoruba people. I will prove it tonight. On this noble platform, what we preach is the truth. You may not like it. But if you go back and reflect upon everything that I say, you will come to the realization that it is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You may not like the way I deliver it. I give you that. I'm not too, I'm not too, I'm not too bothered about it. But ask yourself this question. Isn't Nam Dekano speaking the truth? This evening, am I preaching the truth or not? Why is it anytime something happens without proper investigation, it is IPOB or ESN? But only yesterday, all of you in the zoo called Nigeria, you reported the massacre that took place in Kebbi State. My simple question tonight is to Punch newspaper, to Nation newspaper, to Vanguard, all the rest of you, that are basically trotting out the flooding narrative every blessed day. I want to ask a simple question. Who are the perpetrators of that heinous crime in Kebbi State? Once you answer it truthfully, you will now understand why I am pursuing a sovereign state of Biafra. Because all of you are hypocrites. They want to put the blame of insecurity in Nigeria on IPOB. Can you believe that? Can you believe these people? Can you believe them? Can you believe these people? And luckily, as God will have it, they are slaughtering themselves in the north. But IPOB securing the east are the ones to be blamed for the insecurity in the east. There is a clip I want everybody to play, please. Who opposed that? opened his mouth and said, I invited the army to come into Olo. There was nothing happening. 
Fulani, the who opposed the man gave Fulani land in all to do Ruga, Fulani settlement. And we said no. We drove the Fulani murderers and, and, and terrorists away. Who opposed the man now invited his friends, his masters from the north, to bring in their army and heavy machinery into Olu to kill us. That was how all these things started. All of you, you have forgotten. My black people in this UG, black, you have all forgotten the Genesis. The same way that all of you that are blaming Boko Haram is a terrorist group, Boko Haram, what they're doing. But when Nigerian police were busy killing their leader and killing everybody else, all of you were just there drinking Fradu Nunu. Or doing uh, uh, betting on Chelsea versus Man U or Liverpool versus Man City. Nigeria army and police will go out and commit atrocity upon atrocity. All of you will be there, you keep quiet. Any day those people out of anger rise up and retaliate, all of you baboons and monkeys without writing rubbish. Do you know why? Because you have no conscience, you have no soul, you're a black person, you are the embodiment of evil. It's the truth. I don't care who bans whoever or whatever, I don't give it to us. I must preach the truth. Black people are wicked, by nature, very wicked people. That is why you forget the atrocities that your police and your army always commit. You forget. In a truth of an eye, you forget. Our army, our police. Now listen to me very carefully, please. You are blaming ESN, whereas it is the same Fulani terrorists masquerading as headsmen that, that are responsible for orchestrating all the insecurity in and around Nigeria. Fulani, you have Boko Haram. Fulani, you're talking about insecurity in the East. Hey, whereas 91 people were struggling yesterday, yesterday they were killed yesterday. You, you have the God, you people have no shame, you have the God to stand up and be talking about insecurity in the East. And you're, you're a senator from, from KB State, or KB, whatever they call it. And 91 of your constituents were slaughtered. You didn't say it, you are talking about the uh, East. Fulani, who formed Boko Haram? Fulani, who formed ISIS in West Africa province, ISWAP? Fulani, who formed Mieti Yala? Fulani, who formed Anselm? Fulani, who formed these headsmen and bandits you claim are foreign? Fulani, who brought out murderers and killers and terrorists from prison and gave them military and police uniforms? It is you people. You have now spread them around the country, causing mayhem, abducting people from schools. These are the same play. Hi, this will go there. Ha, ah, Fulani, you think everybody's as stupid as you are? You go, you kidnap the students from their schools in the north, you get ransom, you buy more, more, more arms, you embolden yourselves, you have the guts to, 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 to conduct a live press conference talking about insecurity in the East. Don't people have shame? Anyway, you don't. Who are the bandits, or should I say terrorists, taking hostages? Of school children and demanding ransom. Are they not Mieti Yala? <laughs> Mieti the chief negotiator. Who are the people destroying farms, raping and killing their victims daily around Nigeria? Fulani. Fulani. You know how they managed to convince some of you is what I find astonishing. Despite the overwhelming evidence, how they manage to convince you people that they mean well for you is something I can't understand. It was in Nigeria that I discovered the reason why the black race were enslaved and colonized at the same time. After slavery came colonization, after colonization, now we are in the era of neo-colonization. If you want to know why a black man is easier to control than, a, than an animal, come to Nigeria, you will see it. You see, 
Punch newspaper is a Yoruba newspaper. Tribune is Yoruba. Nation is Yoruba. In fact, most major newspapers, they have this Yoruba leaning because most of them are based in and around Lagos, including Son, Vanguard, all the rest of them. <laughs> Unbelievable. They know that their forests and their lands have been taken over by the Fulani. The journalist writing their rubbish for Punch newspaper, he cannot go back to his village. Most of them in Ogun State are refugees in Benin Republic. The person, you will have the God to come on, on national television to talk about insecurity in the East. Whereas your fellow Yoruba people, they are in Benin Republic as refugees driven away by Fulani. But because I said that no Biafran will go and dwell in a refugee camp anywhere. Instead, we all perish. You are calling me uh, uh, the instigator of um, insecurity. Let me tell my Yoruba journalists one thing they don't understand. If we had behaved like you people, by today we will have their friends in Ambazonia as IDPs. If we had allowed the Fulani to come into us playing this one Nigeria, good one Nigerian card, our land and our forest would have been taken over by the Fulani the same way they have now taken over swathes of Yoruba land. Are you following? In your land, the Fulani people are massacring you. In our land, it is there. We have defeated their foot soldiers. They now brought in, gave them army uniform, official army uniform to come to kill in our land. That's what we are facing now. Because the Fulani is the thing that clever. But they are not. One day we will get one terrorist with uniform and we will show the whole world what they have been doing. Fulani terrorists are everywhere. You must understand. They are the military and the police. Nigeria has no military, it has no police. What you have are terrorists, Fulani terrorists in uniform. That's what you have. No Fulani leader. I have never come across any Fulani leader condemn me yet, Yala. Never, ever, ever. But one of them, the East must speak up. Uh, silence is no longer golden. Speak up now. Speak up now. Have you ever spoken up against me yet, Yala? Have you spoken in the past against them? against your friends in Boko Haram and ISIS in West Africa that are considered even more deadly than Boko Haram. No, you have not. But you want Eastern leaders to rise up and speak against those that drove away your terrorists from our forests. Does that make any sense to you? Of course not. No foreign leader has ever condemned what their people are doing. The same people are today threatening us. Flanny rulers trade with genocide. Uh, activities of ESN is the reason why we are coming. You are angry because we defeated your foot soldiers in the forest. We drove you terrorists away from our land. That is why you upset. Once in a while, you give them uniform, army uniform to come and kill people. That's all you do. Any day we respond now, we capture them or we kill them, you run to Twitter. Can you say that killing Nigerian uh, 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 soldiers and the police, uh, our uh, uh, secretary architecture? But you cannot speak the truth by telling the whole world that these same people were once terrorists or are still they are all terrorists even till now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see why we are agitating for Biafra? Why we don't believe in Nigeria? Why Nigeria will be destroyed beyond repair? Because Nigeria is a criminal enclave. It is not a nation, it is not a country. It is a place full of black people who cannot reason properly. It's as simple as that. Because if you can reason properly, if you can reason properly, please, you can see the handwriting on the wall. Who are the terrorists in Nigeria? Who brought in security to Nigeria? Is it not the foreign? Without Fulani people raping and killing in our land, also one in case you have forgotten, Nimbo in case you have forgotten, in Ebony, in Cross River, in rivers everywhere they were killing, pillaging, raping and looting. Have you all forgotten why ESN came? You have all cleverly forgotten. 
black people, the CUG. And uh, they are so-called political elites. Everybody wants to be politically correct. Everybody wants to be political correct. Everybody wants to please Fulani because of 2023, because they control INEC, they control CBN, they control everything. Your political future, in fact, if they can put this on their mind power, who, what can they not do? All of you were there claiming, this is our nation, Nigeria, without shape. You people, you disgust me. Supreme Court of Nigeria imposed a man on the people of Yuma. A man that came forth during election. He was imposed. And they asked Supreme Court, oh, Supreme Court of Nigeria, where did you get all this number of voters given the fact that I make register? Doesn't tally with the figures you're pronouncing. And by law, the same INEC they claimed they met a few days ago. We are not happy. Uh, our offices are being burnt. What is happening now is not good. The same INEC that you charged by law to conduct elections went to the Supreme Court and said to the judges, the figures you're using, they are wrong. The judges said our decision is final. Purpose of the is the governor of Imo State. And you want people to accept that rubbish? You must be mad. You must be mad.